Happy Vlogmas. Don't, don't mind that. It is the first day of Vlogmas. Happy December 1st, everybody. As you can see, I got my tree up already. And my bows on my stairs, don't mind that. It was just my son's birthday a few days ago. So it's literally like almost three in the morning. Life of a mom. My baby's sleeping. Yeah, this is my free time when they're sleeping. This is the only free time I get is when they're sleeping. And then it's so crazy because I'll swear I'm like tired throughout the entire day. And then as soon as they fall asleep, I'm like. Okay, so clearly I did not go back to sleep. So instead, I decided to try this recipe that I had found on Pinterest. Actually, actually it's called the Spam Musubi Bowl. Wow, talk. Oh my God, Sierra, talk. Okay, so it's a Spam Musubi Bowl. It's literally only nine ingredients to make this like simple and cost, very low cost effective um, Musubi Bowl. So everything that I got, like all the nine ingredients put together, besides like the soy sauce, because I already had some, it literally cost me about $20. So for like 20 bucks, I can feed a family of up to five. Because, I mean, the rice is pretty filling anyway on its own. So what I did in the beginning, I used instant rice. I used two cups. I made two cups of instant rice and just one can of the Spam. As you see right here, I chopped it up into, like, little cubes. I tried to make them as equal as possible. And then next, I'm going to add brown sugar, soy sauce, and mirin sauce. It's like a sweet oil that adds to it. It's like it makes a nice... Thick sauce. So after you brown the spam, you're gonna add the soy, and then you're going to add the mirin sauce, and then like a few teaspoons or tablespoons of um, brown sugar, and then you're just gonna stir it up until it gets like to a nice like like a thick saucy consistency. As you can see here, then you just you gotta keep stirring it. If you don't keep stirring it, it will stick to the pan. And then right here, I tasted it a little bit. It wasn't sweet enough for me, so I added just a little bit more brown sugar to it. And then, like I said again, keep stirring around so it does not stick to the pan. And turn off the stove and look at that. Perfection. And the rice should be done too. Perfect. So you start with putting your rice in your bowl. I wanted to add a little extra furikake seasoning, so I just added that on top of my rice. And then you add your Spam, and never mind that piece that fell on the floor. I really need to go back downstairs and find that, because I really forgot that I even had dropped that on the floor. You know, this is where animals come in. If I had like a dog or something, they would have been ate it for me, and I wouldn't have to look for it. So then I fried an egg sunny side up, sort of. <laughs> double-sided sunny side either way there's still like a yolk in the middle and then I add some more furikake seasoning on top of my egg and then some chopped green onions and some sriracha spicy mayo just kind of drizzle that over that bad boy like that oh what what and that is it right there. Look at that. That is perfection. And you know, you guys, this tasted so good. And it was really quick to make too. Like this whole light meal literally took me like five minutes. Literally. And let's make sure we still got that yolk. Like the yolk is yolking. Go ahead and poke the egg. Yeah. All right. Thanks guys for watching.